Well, hello, Virgo. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K., and this is the week of November 24th, 2019. Love reading. I'm asking Spirit to please provide, most importantly, those whom are single and are coming together with others. Some information about that. I'm starting to see a lot of that uh, via email and personal readings. So congratulations to those of congratulations to those of you who have surpassed some form of temptation and have stepped into a higher, better path uh, for some with someone new. All right, so. I'm going to be doing a circle spread using the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue for whichever Virgo I'm reading for during this general reading, representing the week of November 24th, 2019 into and around December 1st, 2019. All right, Virgo. So you've got some time to chill out here in the beginning of the week. Uh, as you love yourself, as you focus on what makes you proud to be you, a hobby, gift, talent, skill, creative idea, or project, it is your self-respect, that beautiful, bright aura that you are giving off that is going to draw others towards you if you'll just work on loving yourself first. Okay, in the thoughts position of the circle spread, we have a Virgo who may be thinking about a marriage, maybe a past marriage, about getting engaged and someday getting married. Um, that card is coming up a lot. Uh, so in the relationship sector, we have, this could be the one. Some of you have already met the person, but you're not loving yourself enough to realize that you do deserve deeper commitment, or partnership. Some of you are getting that feeling, that love and feeling, right? That this could be the one. A lot of people are going to have a lot of conversations this week. And in your creative aspects position, Virgo, it is indeed, indeed, time to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone um, about commitment, partnership, moving in, however we handle that in this day and age with one another. Love yourself first by speaking your truth, for that's what's going to, that's what you will accomplish if you'll use the energies here of self-respect. I respect myself enough to have a conversation with someone and say, I want commitment, partnership, moving in, whatever. Do you want the same thing? For there is this question in the relationship sector this week. Is this the romantic partner that I've been seeking? All right, so in the actions position, representing the later part of the week going into the weekend, we have a strong magnetic attraction. And I just shuffled really well after Leo. I think it was Leo. I don't know, but I'm seeing strong magnetic attraction and marriage. And this is all making sense to me because um, me and my four other siblings – I think four out of five of us all got married in 20 in, in the year 2000, and now we've got 2020. It's like years later, you have evolved. You now, some of you recognize your self-respect. You're able to speak your truth about what you want in the future with another. And um, I think you could fully enjoy a strong magnetic attraction by the end of the week going into the weekend. Wow. So if you're single and you've been connecting with someone, it's time to talk about deeper commitment, or someone's going to have that conversation with you. Now, there are some emotionally by the end of the week going into the weekend that need to kind of take back their mind, right? Not put it too much into, I want to get married and do this and da, 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 da. You know, you're being guided more importantly to just say, hey, where do you see this headed? Do you want to set a date at some point where we can move in together? We can da, 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 and then, you know, enjoy the magnetic attraction, but don't lose yourself in this thought. You know, allow spirit to just let it happen how it is going to. Maybe you want to watch giving up all of your mind, body, and soul to another until you can get clear about where this commitment is headed. Now, in the subconscious position, we have a Virgo who just cannot clear their mind from someone tied to the past. And Spirit is saying, which one's the one? 
We have a Virgo who may be thinking, should I or shouldn't I marry someone? I can't let go of someone. And that's why Spirit's saying, remember, free yourself. Day to day. We have a Virgo who is paying attention to the red flags. Or at least you're being guided to. As you have a conversation with another, love yourself first. Speak your truth. Pay attention to any signs that are cautioning you when it comes to maybe talking about a deeper commitment or engagement or marriage. Ah. So in the inner strengths position of the circle spread, we have deception. Having the strength to recognize if someone is wearing a false mask. So again, this is what I was feeling before. Don't give away your mind, body, and soul until you are completely sure that the energy here does not involve energies of deception in any way, for that situation will fail. So it's like somebody's here thinking, could this new person be the one? Do I want to talk about deeper, deeper commitment? Um, am I deceiving myself? Am I still paying attention to an S? Have I cleared that energy? Well, ask spirit to clear your energy from anyone or anything that causes anything but happiness, contentment, and joy. Somebody here really wants to give in to this passion and take action, but you're being guided to make sure you stand in your own self-respect and speak your truth, even in the eyes of deception or the energy of deception. Pay attention to the red flags. Maybe someone was deceptive, and now Spirit's giving you the strength with the deception energy to surpass your fears of deception by having a conversation so you can give in to this passion and say, cool, let's go. See, engagement and passion, what's behind that? Give a relationship a chance. Honeymoon. Somebody still wants to flirt with a past life connection. So be careful of energies of deception. That will destroy everything. That will karmically bring around a tower situation. So a lot of people need to be completely released, no longer thinking, hoping, wishing, praying for another in order to be blessed with something good here. Um... Tell me more about the pay attention to the red flags. I'm bringing in the Gypsy Oracle deck. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please clarify the pay attention to the red flags card in the day-to-day -day aspects position for this Virgo. Thinking a lot about falseness with a sweetheart. Having hope, but sitting there mostly by yourself. Thinking about falseness. Contemplating home or business. And a sweetheart, should I give myself faithfully? And can I? Because I'm still waiting with the widower energies to come to the realization that something has completely ended. Okay, so spirit can't send a true life partner towards you until you have let go. For whoever's energies those are, you know, pray to spirit, say out loud, I have let go, take it off me, take it away from me, help for me to move forward and connect with others whom are new in my life. People I can speak my truth to, even in the midst of this strong magnetic attraction. Tell me more about deception. Okay. Uh, surprise. Somebody was ready to be married. They gave all they could to someone who felt like a lover energy. There's still desire and hopes for a reunion, at least to have a conversation. Besides, should I put someone in the friend zone and recognizing, yeah, that's kind of where it's at. And then now turning and communicating with someone new. Who's, let's see what this chemistry is about, because we have love here. Ah, some just haven't let go, though. And they're saying someone is not going to save you. There's only going to be misfortune. And then communication comes that is healing where it feels like it at first. But then you recognize the arrogance in another. And you go back into the stubborn energies of like, I knew I shouldn't have gone back there. I knew I shouldn't have had that discussion. They're saying a joyful future is opening up now that you are clear. So what is this chemistry about? 
by the end of the week, going into the weekend for whichever Virgo this is. As they free their mind from an X, what is this chemistry about in the actions position? Is it just deceptively going back to something? Heartache. Yeah. <sighs> Wanting to take action, not appreciating the blessings you already have in some way or that there could be someone in the way that has fire in their chart, Sagittarius or Leo, or there was heartache here in the area of a father figure or something that wouldn't help you to open up your heart. And then you were trying to think about balance and commitment and contentment with someone maybe who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, um, feeling sad, like you don't have what you want, still confused. Should I walk away from a situation of maybe marriage or what I remember that caused heartache? Or should I move? Yeah, should I go back towards someone who's going to manipulate me? Passionate direction. Maybe someone who had Gemini in their chart. Communication, honesty, strength to decide on a new path, a new journey, getting the truth, recognizing the truth. Big week. They're saying research the reality of a research your own stable foundation, doing what you like to do, your craft, your hobby, gift, talent, or skill, and let uh, an old unhealthy path go. For there will be new communication, new offers and opportunities, and you're going to start to recognize that your ship is coming in because you freed yourself from the magician. Wow, I could just bring in so much more information. A lot of you, this is about the path, and it's like, I thought I let go, but I haven't. Gosh darn it. I want to bring in, um, you know, we got to let go and make room if we want the right one to come in. Someone has to let go. There's indecisiveness. It, again, may have someone have to do with someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Yep. So see, this is all about unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles. And it is time for you to work on your life's purpose, to ground yourself, to working on a hobby, gift, talent, or skill, taking a class in your community or at a university, learning how to do oil, painting, woodwork, whatever. It's time to take all of that passion and, and frustration and that whole situation and put that energy into creativity. Yeah, it's time to awaken your uh, vulnerability because you can use the magician energy this week to manifest new connections, to have the conversations you need to have and to clearly be able to see the red flags as you connect with either someone new or when you connect with someone new. That's going to be different. A lot of people are coming into connection with someone. And um, yeah, but this this Virgo has to free themselves from old patterns, behaviors, or cycles. And the best way to do that is to just recognize what they are and then next time do something completely different. Because for some of you, the next person could be the right one. There could be engagement and partnership. For some, you may be thinking about someone who's already in a commitment or partnership and you're trying to free yourself from the magician. The manipulator. Yep, that's where the indecision is. Well, I could just bring in a lot of energies right now and messages, but I think what I want to do, mm, I'm thinking about a word of prayer. I, I better bring in a word of prayer for this. <laughs> so dear Lord, spirit, guides, and angels, please bless whichever Virgo energy this is with clarity. Help them to awaken their vulnerability, to free themselves from maybe energies of deception and someone tied to their past. Someone or something that happened because of unhealthy behaviors, patterns, and cycles. Yeah. See, now the romance angels are helping you. This is from the Archangel Michael deck by Doreen Virtue. So your word of prayer for the week, Virgo, is, Dear guardian angels of my soulmate, thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love and for giving us the motivation to make healthy life changes and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you. 
for helping us to recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. So awaken, recognize unhealthy patterns, behaviors, and cycles in yourself or another or having to do with the connection that involved energies of deception. Awake your vulnerability to who you are now as you create new cycles, behaviors, and patterns. For the romance angel, uh, uh, for Archangel Michael, actually, is most importantly helping you to guide into the path by which you're supposed to go. So for some of you, this is definitely about detaching from a situation. Wow. Should these messages resonate and you'd like more information and a personal reading, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below. I am still offering the Fall Winter Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you who have donated. Take care, and God